Around the world, human waste and rubbish is destroying water sources and farming lands, disrupting ecosystems and posing serious threats to life. Waste reuse, however, can be an opportunity. Reusing waste can reduce pollution, improve sanitation, enhance food security for millions of poor households and support green economies. The Resource Recovery and Reuse program is shifting the focus from waste disposal treatment to looking upon treated waste as a reusable and safe resource. Projects now turning waste into business opportunities include recovering nutrients from faecal sludge, wastewater irrigation, aquaculture, co-composting of various organic wastes and using waste to meet energy demands. Every project is supported by professionals in health, engineering, business, environment, institutions, law and social impacts. Making waste productive helps the environment, farmers and public health and it also helps to make waste management sustainable and resilient to increasing pressures from growing urban populations. Despite limited waste segregation at household level, the final product is very homogeneous. The greatest benefits from our work come when a project can be upscaled to benefit many more people and deliver solutions for broader environmental, social and economic issues. Like many developing countries, Sri Lanka faces challenges linked to poor waste management. These include pollution of water sources resulting from rapid urban growth, loss of farming lands and threats to ecosystems and human health. In 2005, the government of Sri Lanka established a large number of composting plants throughout the country to improve waste management. Many plants achieved their target of waste volume reduction, but only a few were able to sell most of the compost produced. One success story is in the town of Balangoda, where the local treatment plant turns waste into commercial opportunities for the benefit of farmers. Nimal Prematilika managed the Balangoda Waste Facility in 2016. Why has Balangoda succeeded? It's a success. The, the reason of the low technology, low energy, low cost. We are touching every field of the waste management sector like school sector, community sector, business community. Balangoda's success has come from using government support to build infrastructure and to impose a waste tax on businesses that do not segregate waste. Turning waste into marketable products and finding the markets for these has underpinned Balangoda's financial success and ongoing sustainability. Profits fund the waste treatment system. The plant makes a small profit by selling non-organic recycled products, but the best market is for organic fertilizer made from compost and treated faecal sludge. This safe, high quality product is much in demand on tea plantations and by palm oil and vegetable producers. Balangoda uses simple, natural systems and low-energy, low-cost technology that can easily be maintained. No expert knowledge is needed to manage the system. Balangoda's treatment facility is a public model, servicing a population of around 57,000. But the requirements in every town or city will be different because the available waste may vary in quality and quantity and the marketing situation could also be different. Urban environments with higher populations are far more complex. Models designed to achieve cost recovery only can involve very different technical inputs and marketing strategies from models where profit is the goal. That's why the Resource Recovery and Reuse Program, or RRR, as we like to call it, takes a holistic approach to provide the best possible outcomes for investors. The end result is a complete picture captured in a business model that provides well-researched answers to the many variables involved. Every solution offered comes with a feasibility study, an implementation strategy, and a policy development framework. 
Waste potentially contains many materials harmful to health and the environment. The Triple R program's scientific approach ensures that what is sold is safe and consistent in quality. The Triple R program uses a business focus to make opportunities out of otherwise lost resources and does this in a safe and sustainable way. Triple R research is now delivering benefits in many countries. A new treatment plant at Tema in Ghana is the first commercial scale project in West Africa to produce high quality, high value and safe fertilizer from treated human waste. Operated by a public-private partnership, the facility is a direct result of triple R work that proved the technology and model of the commercial viability of the project. When fully operational, the treatment plant in Ghana will produce 500 metric tons of fertilizer per year. The Ghana situation illustrates how triple R can help address waste management challenges by looking at waste not as a problem, but as an opportunity to create value. This innovative approach has the potential to deliver widespread economic, social, environmental and health benefits to many countries throughout Asia, Africa and Latin America. <laughs>